College-educated women are each given 20 seconds to succinctly answer questions about complicated political issues while remaining bipartisan, wearing a bikini, and smiling. The Miss United States Swimsuit Competition It's everyone else's favorite part of the show To top it off, all these questions will be asked by a fully clothed middle-aged man. Is it hot in here or is it just me? It's just you, Stan. Everyone else is in swimwear. So that's what a sarong is. Hey, hey. I thought you were quitting. I he changed my mind. Agent Hart, remember the three pillars of a perfect interview. It's locked in, Vic. Tell Stan it's a great question. Don't give an actual opinion. End on world peace. Great. Let's see how Texas does. Miss Texas. The 1993 Brady Act mandates federal background checks and a five-day waiting period when purchasing firearms. How can Americans protect themselves from gun violence while still upholding their Second Amendment rights? What a wonderful question, Stan. I believe in liberty and the rights this nation gave to me. I also think the safety of our people a priority so if a little waiting helps the violence cease then we can still say hurry to 2A and work together for world peace Miss Texas expressing her right to bear arms and bare legs fantastic just fantastic she didn't even actually say anything this place is so weird the Miss United States tell me I'm a very intense person, so... Oh, you were wishing me luck. Sorry, I get flustered when I want people to like me. You want me to like you? No! The judges and, uh... Do, do you like me? West Virginia, you're up next! Knock them dead. The Miss United States Swimsuit Competition President Clinton signed into law the Defense of Marriage Act, which denies federal recognition of same-sex marriages. Does such a law violate the separation between church and state as decreed by the First Amendment? Oh, uh, well, Stan. I believe in love and we must respect equality. But every one of us expresses marriage differently. They cut locks and churches. I'm not sure what you just said, but it was a great answer. Thank you, Miss West Virginia. The Miss United States Swimsuit Competition. Ooh, stay calm. It smells your fear. The Miss United States Swimsuit Competition. Okay, stay. I haven't been this naked in public since the day you were born. It's fine. Here, put this on. Oh, good. Lipstick. Finally something I recognize. Whoa, what the, the hell are you doing? That's why I got the bikini wax. It stops the suit from riding up. Riding up where? Just up. Jersey, you're next. 
Remember, Serene, Dalai Lama, go! Miss New Jersey, if you could have just one wish in the whole wide world, what would it be? That would be an open federal registry for convicted stalkers, Stan. And world peace! Uh, so I think we all know I nailed it. Hey, one out of three is not that bad. Here, check it out. Got a lead. The blood test? Photos. Cheryl Fraser with members of an animal rights group. They've made bomb threats in the past, but so is the quiet ones. No, no. She was put on academic suspension last year after an altercation with a professor. No, you're sniffing up the wrong dog's butt here. She fits the profile. Loner, introverted. Cheryl! That Cheryl! Miss Rhode Island, that is a lovely bathing costume. Thank you, Stan. My mom helped. Earlier this year, Iraqi President Saddam Hussein negotiated a peace deal with UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, allowing international weapons inspectors to return to Baghdad and preventing direct military action by the United States. What would be your plan of action if this deal fell through? Oh gosh. Great question, Stan. I personally believe that Americans indeed do so, such as have a military to support our troops to help the world like the Iraq and such as mm, Asia and overseas. And we pray to see world peace one day, and that day is August 17th, which I personally believe falls on a Thursday this year, Stan. Thank you, Miss Rhode Island. Thank you.